Okay, we have arrived in the now moment. No, but seriously, we're in Southampton and I feel like I need to go get another coffee before I go into the store. The store of destiny. The store of creative juice tickling squeezingness. Oh, I'm so tired. I'm so tired. I literally was laying in bed awake. I did go to sleep for a little bit last night. Initially I went to sleep and then I just went for a wee and then when I got back into bed I was just like buzzing about today. I just get, the only thing that stops me from sleeping at the moment is excitement for stuff. Excitement for these visions of like timelines that I'm navigating myself onto. Just like a genuine like deep soul excitement within me and um, yeah I don't I don't want to like speak to any promises because I, I realize that I, one of my toxic traits is that I say things more than I do things. Do you do that? And it feels like I'm out of integrity if I'm saying that something and not doing it. So I don't want to speak too much about what it is that I want to create. Um, but I need, I need a powerful computer to create it. Um, and so that's very exciting for me to firstly be in a financial position to be able to buy this computer right now. Oh, feels good, feels good to be able to do that for myself and to also trust that I'm investing this money in myself. I'm investing this money in myself. Recently, I also invested in a coach, my own coach, which is why I've kind of put my own coaching on pause whilst I get coached to level the whole thing up, and which is completely life-changing, game-changing. I'm really, really excited about having a, a call with my coach tonight. This creative force that wants to burst through and come through me is alive and well and it, I'm excited that I'm reconnecting to that creativity inside of me, that part of me, that artist within me with this new intention, this new vision for what my art actually means and represents and what the purpose of it is. By the way, I put out like two um, little films recently, little life, life lately films, which are basically my excuse of getting all the footage from my iPhone that I've been collecting over the last year and putting it to some nice music so that I've got the memories for me and just to show like how beautiful the simplicity of life is like how how much beauty there is in the imperfections of everything how perfectly imperfect everything is how we can find light and beauty in any moment even in Southampton Maybe a bit of a stretch, but we'll see what we can do. And the last one was me arriving in Cape Town. And so go, please go and check that out because it feels like a mini Cape Town visual vibes. In fact, fuck it. It is a mini Cape Town visual vibes and I'm really proud of it. And it was shot on this new phone. The first few shots of the film when I'm flying into Cape Town are shot on an iPhone 11 Pro. And then for the rest of the film, it's shot on this, which is a 13 Pro. Um, and as I was editing the footage from this new phone, I'm like, this is so buttery and the colors are so nice and everything's so, uh, that's all I wanna do. I just wanna film shit and share it. So um, that's where I'm at right now. <clears throat> <sighs> so please go and check that out and give it some love and tickle those algorithms for me because baby, you know, I'm trying to make this some kind of YouTube comeback. Okay. I had a feeling I shouldn't get in that lift. And so I waited and I got on the other lift and now that lift is stuck and there's people stuck in that lift. Isn't that funny? Hey Siri. 
play Rage Against the Machine. Rage Against the Machine now playing. It's better. Pretty cool, that. Nice, yep. So many sparkly things. Probably should invest in a sleeping bag for my new baby. Oh shit, yes. Avatar. Yeah, I'm definitely going to see Avatar in the cinemas, for sure. If ever you happen to be in Southampton, you must come to this place for coffee and they do really good food as well. It's called Metrics. And I come here to eat and drink coffee every single time I'm in Southampton because I love it so much. Busy mind, thoughts onto the page it helps me. It helps me stay calm. Also, I'm halfway through this new book <clears throat> um, by Gregory David Roberts, who wrote Shantaram. And a lot of you guys ask me. I get often asked, actually, like, what's a good book for spiritual starting out on the spiritual path? Obviously, like A New Earth by Eckhart Tolle is really good. But I'm halfway through this one and this already is like absolutely incredible. Yeah, it's super easy to read and it's going through this guy's sort of explaining his devotion to a spiritual path from a logical point of view and why you would choose to do that based upon his logic. Um, and it's remarkable. I really, really highly recommend it. So yeah, check that one out. I'm very excited. By the way, I put a podcast out yesterday. It's just like a 50 minute life update, catch up podcast. If you're interested in um, listening to it, I'll link it in the description. Go and check it out. Hi, Adam. Josie. Hi. What you got there? What you got there, you floofers? Huh? What you got there, floofers? Alfred, why you got socks for me? What a treat. What a treat. Okay. Hello. Oh, the floor's up. We're having new floors put in. Home improvements. actually um, served me incredibly well for many years and it's still going remarkably strong actually um, definitely gonna sell this but yeah it's time feeling deep gratitude deep gratitude for many things super grateful to be able to invest in myself in the tools that are required for me to do the things that I enjoy doing the most to create and express myself and capture and document and share my journey um, 
through these incredible pieces of technology. I'm feeling very grateful for this community, for you being here. I do not take for granted the value of your attention. So I hope that you receive something from these videos. If you do, let me know what that might be in the comments. And yeah, I look forward to using this new tool to create more, to share more in all sorts of new mediums as well. <sighs> what else am I feeling grateful for right now? Family. I'm feeling grateful to be under this roof in a warm house when it is so cold outside. I'm feeling grateful for my health. I'm feeling grateful for sacred sons and the brotherhood and the healing that takes place in those containers. Grateful for my comfy bed where I can rest and recuperate. I'm grateful for every morning that I wake up and get to start a fresh day. I'm grateful for my time here on planet Earth. I'm grateful for my community in real life as well. Not that you guys aren't real life, but I'm grateful for my friends back in Cape Town, my people, the land. I'm grateful for the land here in the UK. Feels like coming home more and more every time I come back here. I'm grateful for the land in Cape Town. It's such a healing experience just to even be amongst those mountains in that nature feels like a purification every time I go back there. <sighs> I'm grateful for this time right now in this chapter of humanity, for being here to witness and participate in the awakening, essentially. And although it seems, and not seems, it is incredibly challenging times to be a human, to try to grasp all of the darkness that seems to be coming up to the surface, out of the shadows, the things that have been there the whole time. On a collective level and on an individual level for myself, as I start to dive more into my own shadows, into my own darkness, and find all the parts of myself deep down there that have yet to be loved by me and accepted by me. And so we're all participating in this as individuals as well as collectively, but there's a huge shift that's happening right now, and it has been for many years. And we get to choose, we get to decide, you and me, what story we're gonna write. We are the ones holding the pen over the page. There's nothing that we can do about the past except for forgive ourselves, feel all the feelings that need to be felt so that we don't carry that resentment into the future clear and purify and heal our nervous systems so that we can have the clarity and the presence, the quality of presence to know in any given moment and to feel what choices need to be made for ourselves. There's nothing we can do about trying to control everything that's going on around us. The only thing we can control is our perception of what's happening. So I'm sending you so much love May you find yourself in peace this holiday season. May you find yourself amongst people who love you. And go easy on yourself. Be gentle on yourself. Be gentle on other people. Practice compassion. Practice bringing your loving awareness into any situation that you possibly can. And anytime you feel triggered, let it go with a breath. Let it go with a sigh. Come back to presence. Come back to this now moment open your heart, see through the eyes of forgiveness and compassion. Control the controllables, let everything else go. If I don't check in with you before Christmas, have a beautiful holiday season. My prayer for you is that you have a peaceful last couple of weeks of 2022. And may we set our intentions going into 2023 with peace in our hearts, with love on the agenda with connection, with healing, community, checking in with ourselves regularly with what's important to me right now, looking after ourselves, self-care. I give you full permission to be selfish. Look after yourself. I love you. I'll see you in a video real soon. Peace.